My name is Lauren and I am 28 years old. When I was growing up, I, I guess I was always considered messy, slob, um, you know, choose your adjective, uh, and probably lazy. This isn't weird to me. You know, this is normal. It's weird to me if, you know, there wasn't anything out. It's weird to me, like, if I walk into a room and there's nothing there except for the pieces of furniture. My name is Kerry McNamara. I'm Lauren's dad. So we always had a very good home life. Uh, the house was, our house was always very orderly. My wife is a very neat person. My name is Liz McNamara, and I am Lauren's mother. I just thought that she was a pack rat. <laughs> because in my generation, that's what you call people that couldn't throw things away. My mom wanted everything to be in a certain place and everything to be very neat and clean and tidy. And if I didn't do it, it always started an argument. And then it would usually end in me getting upset and uh, then she would just do it. I would just clean it because it was my house. <laughs> and that's, you know, her room was part of the house, so. I would just clean it. My name is Will Retzer. I am 31 years old. Lauren and I have been together for almost three years now. I guess I would call her uh, my girlfriend, partner. We own a house together. We did have separate rooms for a while. I didn't mean to, but it just sort of, stuff does follow me. I couldn't believe he could live there. He didn't appear to be the type of person who would live in that kind of environment. I'm, yeah, I'm guilty of enabling in some ways. And I don't know at what point my enabling has gone too far. We brought the mattress from upstairs, downstairs. Lauren had just wanted some time to herself. She prefers to be alone. Bile. I think that the collecting of things is kind of her people. So she'll withdraw at any moment, and you don't know why or when that's going to happen. So they were probably there for six months. We came here and I couldn't walk through her living room. And this was the brand new condo. You could not see the hardwood floor. And she said, no, I made my bed for you to sleep in the room. And I said, we can't sleep in here. I can't even get to the bed. And that's when I knew this was something big. This isn't normal behavior. So I guess I did what I thought I should do, and I just cleaned it all. <laughs> I spent the whole day there. I cleaned the whole thing. We had a huge argument. She was very upset with me. Fourteen thirty-three. Yeah. Right. It's in a car. I felt like my privacy was being invaded. Somebody was just like bearing my soul, or like reading a diary, or something like that, because it's my stuff. Yeah, this is a turning point. Come March, I guess, you know, Lauren will not have had uh, full-time employment for. Uh, for a year. I've definitely had the feelings before that if I'm working all day and you don't have a job, then you should be able to tackle clutter. Right now, she spends most of her time at home watching TV. Thank you.
there's obviously a buildup of frustration. More and more attempts and uh, more and more failures. I can't really speak for him, but I would say that he has probably given up. I'm uh, Dr. Renee Renardi. I'm a clinical psychologist. What we're doing is we're kind of taking it one target area at a time, going through the house, uh, working on decluttering. But what's most important in this process is changing thinking patterns and behavioral patterns. One of the things I think you guys know about me is like, I'll start doing something, going through a box, and then, oh, this goes up in the bathroom. So I go up in the bathroom, and then I'm in the bathroom, and then I hear the phone ring, and then the dog barks, and you know, you know that one whole weekend, we could, so this right. house could look mint. Is she gonna want that? I, I don't know those answers right now, but. So this water container had a leak in it. Uh -huh. um, there's like no water left in here, but uh -huh. I saved it because I wanted to save it. Um, so what's your decision with it So now? my decision with it now is that I do not need it. She was looking through some of the things. I thought that is a no brainer, just throw it away. Um, this is a nail repair kit. I don't have long nails. They don't need to be repaired. Mom? Those are four second answers. Yeah, but that could be a donate. To me? Yes. Yeah. No you have nails. I know, but I wouldn't. Repair them? No. You shouldn't have to think about a bottle of nail polish that deeply. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want me to tell you how the dates on any of those shoes? I can help you with that. I know, shoes is your thing. You can match shoes. I can match them? Yeah. You and want then it? what are you going to do with them? Well, then we can decide. Oh. Where they're going. <laughs> I can match. If you just wait till she asks for help, then you're better off. Little thing. Want some shoes? For, um, those were my lo mowing the lawn shoes. I see that. Well, why are you trying to find a match to something that's that no good anyway? We're just matching. The We're process, Carrie, yeah. is to get the match and then have Lauren decide whether or not she wants to part with her mother's old sneakers of 10 years ago. You can see if we can find a matching shoe box. Do you want to grab the box? It's upstairs? Do you know where it is upstairs? Nope. I think it's in my room. Um, Can you just get it, please? Yeah, okay. Relationship issues are, are really important um, in, in any problem that people struggle with, but I see it especially in hoarding. And what happens is this dynamic gets created where um, the partner becomes afraid oftentimes to say or do anything um, because there's such a strong emotional reaction. Just, you don't need to have it in a bin. I don't want it in a bin. Just like a pile. Not with other things, please, William. I'm sure he'll tell you that there's a lot of times that he just feels like I'm just bossing him around all the time. Uh, weak. You said just clean it out a little bit. Yeah, but like there's some crap in the bottom. Oh, uh, well, come on now. If you're in a relationship with a hoarder, my advice to you is to let go. Can that not go in a pile of stuff? Can that go separately, please? Both of these boxes. Both of those boxes. They have, like, I like having that power or whatever, and I like that he does it, because you end up totally controlling somebody, and then I think they end up just succumbing to that, and then either they wake up and leave, or they, you know, just become your robot because they don't know what else to do. You want to do some of your stuff there? I'm trying to think of a good place to put it. Well, just put it in the box. Mm -hmm. Getting tired. Just not getting my 12 hours. Uh, she just, she wanted me to let everybody know that. Well. Well, uh, how about five minutes, and then I'll go up and chat with her a okay. little bit and see what she wants to do the rest of the, the afternoon, how she wants to spend the time. I don't want to just uh, leave and not have a chance to Absolutely. talk about what we did and what we processed. Okay. So. You know, I'm, her choice is the one that's going to mm 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. So. so let's let's do five minutes and then I'll go up and talk to her and just see what she wants to do and we'll go from there. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. All right. Thanks, Will. <laughs> it's been tiring. Um, yeah, ready for some rest. Lauren, it's Renee. How you doing? Sleepy? Yeah, I know. You're working hard. What do you feel like you're up, up to doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy for sure. And you know what? Most importantly, right now, you have to be selfish and help yourself. Okay. But that's hard for me because I'm. As You're not used to that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I don't care about myself enough to be selfish sometimes. It's important to change those concepts, um, and best to do it now at, when you're young. <laughs> this is not an easy thing to do. So I would hope that she would continue with what we've started. Some things went really well. Sometimes were really challenging for you, and that's a totally normal process. And I think it's something that people couldn't expect anything different. So, because this is this is things how things really work, right? If somebody were to, were to walk in off the street and say, "Oh, what did what did you do exactly?" Like, "Oh, I see a couple of corners," you know. But other than that, it doesn't really look all that different. You have all these great intentions and you want to get things done quickly or, you know, other people want to help you because they can do it better or whatever, but I have to learn for myself and I have to do it at my own pace. Thanks for being a fan of Hoarders and subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.